Uh, let's talk about Hallows. Now, what is Hallow? Uh, we have used it in, uh, in the previous tutorial. If you press Alt, Shift, and left click on existing morph, you're going to bring this, uh, this set of icons that perform specific actions uh, on, the, on your morph. Uh, it's a tool to, for interacting with morphs. You can do some really cool stuff with uh, this kind of stuff, with uh, uh, this kind of tool. Uh, the first thing you have to note is that it matters where you click. For example, if I click here, you see that immediately it uh, selects my stopwatch button morph, which is this button here. Uh, if I click here, uh, the image morph you see here is actually uh, this kind of uh, animation I'm making here with the seconds. If I press second down here, you see that it selects now the uh, Kronos GIMI morph, which is the whole morph. And we can see that if we use uh, the move button, which is, I think, uh, this one. So I can move it around, which of course I could already done. But I could do some other very nice uh, tricks. I can, uh, I can rotate it and I can also scale it. You can see, scale it in and scale it out so I can adjust it however I want. But the most important tool is uh, this tool, the, the debug tools, which is the inspect morph. Now this is very important because it allows me to uh, go inside uh, my morph and inspect it. For example, I can find uh, what kind of submorphs it has. Uh, so if I go that here, uh, I already included those some morphs as, as instances, but you can see here that uh, I also have the submorphs, which is an array, and here is all the morphs that make my uh, DIYs. For example, I can see the minimize button, and you can see here the minimize button is displayed. You can see it as a morph here. Uh, you can see the extension, which is a set of variables that it has. And you can go also in the meta section, which uh, has the, uh, the class and the instance methods we can use with these morphs. So we can uh, do some really cool stuff uh, using here. And uh, uh, and if I go to row, I can even you know ask for the position of the morph and press print uh, a button. No, self position. Should return the position. What is this? Maybe one second. Maybe I return back and I go to row and self position. Yeah, and as you can see here, it returns me uh, the position of the morph, and uh, you can uh, uh, actually execute uh, the messages, uh, the message that the morph understands in this section here, which works as a workspace that operates on that specific instance. And we will continue using the inspector on the next tutorial.